Hi, welcome to Fearless Business. I'm David Carlos. And I'm Valerie Gurka. And we've got a wonderful show for you today. We've got a couple of amazing guests. You know, I don't know if you even knew who was coming on the show today, but first is a guy, he has a business. You've never heard of this business before. What's the name of the business? I, I have no idea what the name of the business is. It's something like Pete's Farm Animal Halloween Costume Shoppy. What? You know, with the extra E at the end. But yeah, he has a business <laughs> yes. where he makes costumes for farm animals for Halloween. He does? Yeah, and, and amazingly enough, there this is you know, he's primarily based in uh, in Sweden and you know we're we're in Moscow. We're in Moscow right now. Right. So but I actually met him when I was touring Moscow and there was this guy wearing just a ridiculously silly hat and I had to go up and ask <laughs> oh my him gosh. what so was up with the hat. Did you invite him to be on so you invited invite him to be, him on, the to be on the show and he's here today and he's, he's, he's does he have examples of the costumes that he makes? Uh, well he brought a, a sheep and a rabbit with him. Oh. Um, so that's what you smell. What? Um, and so, but that's only one of our guests. We, oh, okay. we have another guest. Okay. Okay. Our second guest is a guy, his name is Dick Always Hard. What? And, uh, yeah. Well, it's, I guess it's probably a screen name, but you know, he's that's a famous a a porn actor who is now transitioned into the production side and he's doing a very high end gay porn. Oh, and, well, uh, that's, you know, I mean, that I is, I mean, if uh, you no, make uh, money doing I that, then that's, no, you didn't. Uh, no, how so, did, yeah, how yeah, did you, no, David, uh, how did you meet him? Yeah, somebody referred him to okay. me. Okay, uh, you got an email, his, right? Uh, yeah, it was, it was. It was um, an email about somebody who made a lot of money yeah, in the exactly. production business. And, and, and it, there were a lot of spelling mistakes in the subject, like Viagra was spelled with like the number one, and, but oh, it, okay. I figured that maybe, <laughs> The content would make it worthwhile. Okay. So uh, I, I brought him on, on board for today as well. Cool, 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 cool. So, uh, but first, before we do that. I also have somebody that I brought on board. You did? He is a very, very wealthy fruit stand owner. Okay. And he has a fruit stand. He sells grapes yeah. and cucumbers and avocados and all types of produce for you. Really? You don't see avocados very often at those fruit stands. They're, is they're, an avocado a fruit? Avocado is a fruit because it's a ripened ovary wall. Yes, it is a fruit. Really? As is a tomato. I don't know. Tomatoes are like halfway between fruits and vegetables. Tomato is a fruit. It's a fruit, really? Yes. Officially? Tomato is a fruit. I've heard arguments from both sides. You're it's a you're, fruit. This is your final decision. It's a fruit. Okay. All right, people, tomato why don't you chat us and tell us if you think a tomato is a fruit or not? Yes. But you know what? Our fruit, our fruit stand. Um, participant today is going to probably enlighten us yes, on that as well. He, I'm sure we could just ask him. Know the answer. Uh, although you know, not always. You don't have to be a subject matter expert necessarily to be the owner of a business that that relates to that. Uh, sometimes just being a good business person is all it takes. That's right. People fall into things. Should we do a tip of the day? Yeah, let's do a tip of the day. All right. I Who's think, the uh, tip of the the day um, uh, submitted this, by? This week uh, we had it submitted by a guy named David Carlos. David Carlos. Yes. Okay. Um, let's and, see. Hey, here. that's me. Oh no. All right. Okay. So today I want to give you a tip of the day, uh, talking about uh, internet privacy. So if you are surfing gay porn um, for uh, you know private stuff that is not gay porn. Here's how you do it and how you get away with it. Uh, first, you're going to want to use uh, a browser that has some sort of in-private browsing. Now, modern browsers tend to do this. Uh, Internet Explorer 8 has great in-private uh, browsing. Chrome has a, a special feature. I forget what they call it. Uh, and of course, Firefox has been doing it for years. Uh, they're, they're always sort of the leaders on, on the privacy uh, front. But uh, make sure you're using in-private browsing, and it will not record any of your, your Transactions, your history, your uh, if you type in a username and password, that kind of stuff doesn't get recorded, and that means that somebody coming after you, uh, meaning using the computer after you, not coming after you like the police are coming after me. Uh, so somebody coming after you, uh, <laughs> using the computer after you, will will not be able to tell what uh, what you've been up to. And this is great if you're in an internet cafe and you want to. Uh, you know, check your online bank account, things like that. You always want to try and utilize that sort of protection. So that is your tip of the day, straight from David Carlos. I love tips of the day from David Carlos. You know, it's. it's I especially it's, like that one that you had about spam that one day. Yes. Well, you have you know, to open the can very carefully. Exactly. You might cut yourself. I cut myself like three times before I figured out that <laughs> you know you're not supposed to twist. You're supposed to just kind of 
pop and pull. I kept twisting, and, and it, was, it was a bloody mess. Um, so I, I think we all learned a valuable lesson on that one. Yes, we did. All so, right, uh, so we've got a great show. We're yeah. live from Moscow. Live from Moscow. And we will be right back after this.